Hi folks, this is Alicia with Des Moines New Age Shop and this is our weekly tarot poll. Um, this is for the first week in February and once again I went back to using my Nightmare Before Christmas deck because god I love it and it reads like a dream. Um, we've gotten a couple more in at the shop so we'll have those in on Wednesday which is tomorrow. Um, now with this one, we're still seeing some of that scarcity mindset, that lack, that, oh my God, I, I, I just have to have it all for me. Me, me, me. I, I must make sure I'm secure. And that is more an insecurity that's not based in reality. So, first of all, we have five of needles upright. And what that is, that is about conflict and struggle. Now, Conflict is never comfortable, but it's a part of life. It's inevitable. And from all the other cards I'm seeing here, I'm sensing it's very internal conflict for all of us right now. That's the energy. You know, we're struggling against what we want and what we think we have to do, who we think we have to be. And in honestly, in all honesty, we have to be us, truly us right in here, because that's the only way any of us are going to feel any kind of peace. Um, the second one is going to be King of Presents Reversed. And that speaks to that scarcity mindset, that insecurity of, I must collect all the wealth just, just for me, just for me. I, I, I don't have enough. I don't have enough. Yes, you have enough. Step back. Reconnect with yourself. All of the money in the world is not going to help unless you calm down, refocus, and plan out the goals of where you need to go. Instead of just focusing on putting one foot in front of the other and just go, 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 go. Step back. Take a deep breath. Now we roll into this card, Ten of Candles Reversed. And what that is, that's all about, oh my God, I, I just, I feel this huge burden. I'm carrying all this weight, all these responsibilities. <gasps> I'm alone. I'm alone in all of this. I have no help. That right there, biggest lie you can ever tell yourself. You have more help than you could ever want or need, both in the real world, in the material plane, as well as on the other side. We have ancestors, we have everybody, we have guides, we have deities, we have angels. Everybody is here to help you. All you need to do is ask and then open up about some of the things that are going on in your life that you really need help with. Um, the next one, Six of Needles, upright. And what that is, that is basically... <sighs> Sometimes it can point to underhanded behavior, but in this particular sense, it points to unconventional thinking. So any problems we may have, any difficulties, challenges, conflicts that may arise, we are going to need to think outside of the box. You need to put the box over here. Think over here. Because the conventional way isn't really going to work for us right now. So it's time to try something new. Go out, maybe do kind of a soft pull on getting some advice on how to change how we're going about things. You know, go for a walk out in the snow and rethink things. Ask your guides, hey guys, you know, do you have any ideas? And they'll probably hit you up with some inspiration. Which follows to the last card, the star. That's upright. So in this reading, the star is all about things are going to be okay. We're going toward a brighter future, but you're going to get some inspiration on how to make that happen for you. So look up to the sky and go, huh, you know what? I think I have a new plan. So guys, it just, we really have to help each other out. We have to be very much of a community, a worldwide community, statewide community, however you want to think of it. But Help your neighbors, let them help you, help your friends, let them help you, help your parents, help your kids, help your lover, whatever it is, if somebody needs help, help them and accept their help and their gratitude in return. Don't turn it away. A lot of times we'll say, oh, you didn't need to get me that or, oh, you don't need to do that. Yes, you do. Yes, they say thank you because how many times when we're offered a present do we say, oh, you didn't have to. That's telling the universe, no, I don't need it. Yes, yes, we do need it. Yeah, say thank you. Keep it coming. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Anyways, all right, guys. Toodaloo.